Animation. Now we're back in. <laughs> Who's doing that music? So when did you get an upgrade? What's up? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, having some issues. I think Pastor Lena's having issues yeah, getting in. Unicorn, hello, welcome. What's this thing? This Pacific, I don't know. I'm not sure where he is. I'm gonna go get the slide set up. Why is this world music all oh, plinky? There we go. Menu, 75. And let me get the stream camera. Steady cam. Twitch.tv slash VR church. Slash VR church. Hold on, let me test this. Camera standard view. What's this do? Oh, that's don't definitely. Mess with it. I don't know what it does yet. All right, there we go. It's a new feature. I do believe it's something to come with VR chat premium. Oh, really? Can you believe I'm DJ Flint? I can't believe that. Well, considering hey, DJ hasn't made a single that? proper avatar, <laughs> proper one. Hey. Hey, all right, church time. Let's get, see if I can get this thing figured out here. What's going on here? Hey, Twitch, can we get a big J in chat? How do I? I got to go back. There we go. All right. It might be a small one. You know, the other ones were smaller today, too. Though. So, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Yeah. What are you doing for Thanksgiving yeah. next week? Oh, this week, uh, probably just uh, hang out with my parents, you know, my family, eat some turkey, sleep, you know, watch some football. I don't like, tur I don't like turkey. Personally, turkey is not my kind of food, but then again, neither is stuff. Me neither. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a lover of the turkey, but for some reason on Thanksgiving, it's delicious. But yeah, then I could I could. However, <laughs> however, turkey gravy with mashed potatoes, best mix. <laughs> best mix. <laughs> That's funny. Name a more iconic duo. Mm, a Batman and Robin. No. That's still. Yeah, this is. But oh, sorry, go ahead. A um, little fun fact on this avatar. Um, this was made by a. This avatar that I'm wearing, DJ's old avatar, was made by a, a, a VR uh, member of our church community, Pine. Was it Pine? I think yeah, it was. Pine made it. Oh, yeah. Pine to the needle. Yep. Oh, wow. Wait, that's, that's a great, great one. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is nice. The VR church jacket. That's nice. Yeah, that is pretty fancy. Yeah, uh, you need that on this model, so, so You need yeah, it on this model. You need, oh. you need your VR chat emblem. Yeah, I do, right? That's something. <laughs> Soto, I learned how to do particle systems. Really? Fancy. So no, now. I don't have a working model. I can't show you the working particle system because the model it's on broke. Oh, uh, really? So I want to see an example. Uh, okay, um. Oh, I bet the room's going to overfill if I decide to do it. All right. Hey, yeah, one day we should all come in in that avatar. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. One of us. One of us. Hey, Oscar, what's up, buddy? What's good, man? Good to see you. <laughs> Turn off name tags. We'll make it a game. <laughs> do, a, do a giveaway or something. A little game show. <laughs> Who's gonna win the quest too? But make it some like ridiculous, amazing prize. 
<laughs> yeah, something like ridiculous, like a index, like completely excessive. No, no, no! You gotta make it stupid, ridiculous. Survive Cosmos Elite because nobody will want that. <laughs> like desirable and not at the same time, right? Like, oh, oh, it's like I want something awesome, but. Uh, so it doesn't have any uh, outside in tracking. It's all it's the shitty bad tracking uh, HTC headset. Which one's that one? The Cosmos? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. Poor Cosmos. It was so promising on paper. I heard it. <laughs> Visually, it looks good. Oh yeah. Okay. Pastor Jake is here. All right. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Check, check. One, two. All right, there we go. All right, hold on. Let's see if I think Pastor hey, Lena so, so can get in here. Hold on one second. So I've made it as far yeah. as into VR chat, into VR church, but no one could hear me. I'm closing everything down. I'm restarting it up. What was that again? And that's where I'm at. So. Do you listen Giant. to metal? Uh, not really. I do listen to Pastor Bismick's uh, songs every now and then. Because he's part of a heavy metal band. There's a specific song I want you to listen to. It's called Right in Two. It's by Tool. Ooh, I'll check it out. Send it my way. It's like a nine-minute song, but it's a pretty good song, and I think you'd like it. Oh, yeah? I dig it. I saw Pastor Bismick live when he was at his heavy metal concert. That was a lot of fun. Poggers. <laughs> Something me and Bismick have in common. We both like Papa Roach. Oh, uh, yeah. How's it going? Uh, that's fun. Where is Bismick, anyway? I don't think I see him. What's up, no? You got a Christmas avatar? We're totally going to do a Christmas picture. Nice. Yeah. Christmas model. I'm probably gonna do it. Just give him a, a Christmas sword. Oh, nice. Oh, I like. Hang on, do it again. It's stylish. Stylish, man. Is that a Sprite Cranberry? <laughs> Is that a Sprite Cranberry? That's pretty pog. Yeah. So, so where did you put the lighting for this map? I didn't do it. Um, anything with standard lit, it, it doesn't work well. Oh, really? I architected it for us, so I don't know what the lighting situation is. But it does need some optimization, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not good at making worlds. However, avatars are more my style. Yeah. Oops, hold on, let me see, I got a message from Pastor I mean, Lena. Avatar let me see. Elena's in here. I don't know what to do. I'm back. No one can hear me. I don't know what to do. And not to mention it keeps... All right, Lena's having issues, so... Uh, let me go see if she is here. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> You telling me to get off oh. the internet? You know I'll do that. Hey, you Pastor and Lena can't be heard, huh? Queen. I got you. I got you. Hey, I saw okay. Jake. What's up, Jake? I awesome. What's up, man? Hi, DJ. Can I get a hug? What's up? Uh, 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 can't reach. There we go. Uh, <laughs> we did it. Hi, Jake. Starfire. Hi. Hey, Queen Alice, what's up? In the flesh. How are you? Good, how are you doing? You alright? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, good. Yeah. Having a good day? I'm to get off the internet, so I do the opposite of what he says. Who does? Opposite of who? Stay still. Stay still. Oh, oh, what anyone uh, yeah. So I said, should I come here or get off the internet? And he said, get off the internet. So I came here. <laughs> You're funny. Oh. Crack me up. Hey, put your unit here. No. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? How come? We, Just cause. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I, I crazy. Uh, crazy in a good way. No, you. In a good way. I was confused. I thought that was Zeke for a second. Oh, the Inquisition's here. What's up, Inquisition? Hey, what's up? What's going on? All right, everybody. I'm going to go get church started. I think Pastor Lena is having issues, so I might have to preach for her. But that's right. We'll figure that out. Oh, it's been a while. I was thinking about it. I almost made another one, and I was like, nah. Ooh, ooh. I, t I tried to recall to Bismick about the, the stuff he recommended to the TikTok people. Oh, yeah. All right, everybody. Let, we're going to go ahead and get started with church today. Pastor Alina is supposed to be preaching, but uh, she's having some technical issues, so we were going to wait for her. But I think we're just going to go ahead and just hop right into it, and I'll get things started. And hopefully, if Pastor Alina fixes her technical issues, um, then she'll be here. Now, actually, if you're on Discord, maybe we'll talk about this afterwards. I think she's trying to use virtual desktop uh, with the Quest 2. So if anybody's had issues with that, I'd love to know. She's also having a bunch of problems with the, the link cable. So I don't know if she has like an actual Oculus link cable or if it needs to be that one or it can be any. Anyways, so we can, uh, if you're on Discord, any of you know about that technical stuff about uh, the Oculus and link cables and virtual desktops, uh, let's get Pastor Lena to figure it out because she's been having issues for sure. Um, but so it's so good to see everybody. I don't know what part of the world you're from, but uh, welcome to church. And we're going to get started uh, with a word of prayer. And then after I pray, I'll go ahead and, and get the scripture started for Pastor Lena. Um, and then if she is not uh, here in time, I'm, she said I, I was her backup anyway. So, um, And then we want to do, let me do a quick Twitch check. We want to welcome everybody that's on Twitch right now. Uh, wait, oops, hold on. Let me uh, check my settings here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're live at twitch.tv forward slash VR Church. Want to say hello to everybody watching on Twitch. What is up? Good to see you too. And for those of you watching on demand later, because I know some of you have school or work or, or whatever the, the thing is, we want to say, um, hey, welcome. Good to see you on Twitch. All right. What's up, Avenger? So good to see you. Um, oh, and Jate Live just raided with a party of 13. All right, Jate. Pastor Jake from Love Clan, what's up? Phantom is here. Avenger is on Twitch. Phantom's on Twitch. Uh, we got a whole crew on Twitch. Late. Let me uh, flip the camera around so everybody can see on Twitch all the uh, beautiful avatars from all across the world. Um, so everybody give them a little wave to, to, the, to the Twitch action. So what's up, Twitch? You know that type of thing. Hey, yeah. Twitch. Hey, Twitch. We got us. We got something. We got something sus here in the in the big front row right here, but uh, here's some of the other avatars uh, rocking around here. All right, good, good. All right, let me set the camera back up. There we go. All right. Anyway, so uh, thanks for uh, watching on Twitch, guys. Let me pop up. Uh, Kiwi is watching as well. What's up, Kiwi? Uh, so good to see you. Oh, and who uh, followed us? What's up, uh, girl3386? I missed the numbers, 38764. Uh, good to see you on Twitch as well. Love seeing you on Sundays. All right. So let's go ahead and open up with a word of prayer. And then after we pray, um, just a couple of announcements, and then we're going to get into the service for today. All right, let's pray. Uh, God, we just want to thank you so much for this opportunity to meet in virtual reality. Thank you for everyone here. And for anyone that's... Um, just maybe just struggling with life. God, I just pray that you would encourage them, um, heal them in their mind, in their body. And I just pray that you'd help all of us to grow in our faith and to grow in our love. And in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, hey, everybody. All right. So just a couple, uh, just a couple quick announcements. Um, this week is uh, Thanksgiving week, so we're not going to have um, any uh, VR chat official hangouts. We usually have a couple official ones during the week, but uh, we're not going to have one this week. Well, I'm sure we'll be hanging around the world hopping, having some fun. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we'll be back next week with some midweek events. 
But, you know, the church is not a building. It's not a one-hour event. It's, it's the people. It's you. So where two or three are gathered in the name of God and in the name of Jesus, um, there's a verse that says Jesus is in the midst of that. And so what, that's just a long way of saying, man, during the week of two or three, you're gathered in the black cat, or maybe you're in the, uh, the bar scene or something like that, the, the bar world, whatever that is, man, Jesus is in the midst of that. And so that's, that's beautiful. Right. Right. True joker. Hey, Starfire, do you mind doing a little quick mute for me? Uh, that'd be awesome. Cause I can hear really loud of here. Um, but yeah, so true joker approves of that. And so anyways, um, let's hop right into the sermon for today. Did I see pastor Lena? I thought I saw her come in for a second. She's going to do the sermon, but I don't... Oh, Lena, are you... Can you hear her? Can you talk? Are you... Is it working? I, I think people can hear me. Yeah, yeah I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was about to start yeah. the sermon for you. Uh, <laughs> come on up here. No, no. Be, be prepared, because it's been really wonky. So All right. I'll, I'll be your... I'll be your backup. Do I need to get off your panel? Do I need to get off your panel? Yeah. That might help. <laughs> All right. Uh -oh. Oh, true, I know. Covering up my. Let's see if I can get up here. Okay, Woo, there so you go. All right. Hey. Hand, it, hand it over to Alina. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad I made it. Uh, some of you know it was kind of a. a me and technology. I think I don't know what it is. It's, I'm allergic to it or something. Um, but I love it so much. So, um, yeah, so very, very, very glad to be here today. And thank you so much, Bishop Soto, for getting us started. Um, yeah, so let's just jump in. We've been going through uh, First Thessalonians. And, you know, uh, for those of you that have been here before, you know, we just go like a, a, a chapter a week. And so if you've missed the first four chapters in First Thessalonians, highly encourage you to go back. And, and and read those. There is so much in there. Man, is that just like, it's just a gold mine for, for wonderful uh, examples of how we can live better, more happy, you know, happier, more joy-filled, more uh, peace, more love, just better lives. They, they, the church in Thessaloniki were... Uh, maybe that's not the sentence I would use, but uh, yes, let's continue. First Thessalonians 5, and we're going to jump right in. This is a letter to the church in Thessaloniki, written by Paul, Timothy, and Silas, um, to encourage the church there. They've gone through a lot and uh, just difficult times on top of difficult times and um and much of that difficulty is because they chose to follow jesus and and so even knowing that was bringing this hardship they stayed steadfast in their faith and they received courage from the holy spirit to keep pushing on as they did so this is that letter and this is the very end um last chapter in the book of first Thess thessalonians and and the end of that letter so oh one more recap before we jump in here the end of first thessalonians 4 um we learned about what happens to believers those both that have passed away and those that are still remaining here on earth when jesus returns and that's all really good news such good news and now we are going to find out when or what we know about when that will be when will jesus be returning so now concerning how and when all this will happen dear brothers and sisters we don't really need to write you for you know quite well that the day of the lord's return will come unexpectedly like a thief in the night when people are saying everything is peaceful and secure then disaster will fall on them and suddenly as a pregnant woman's labor pains begin and there will be no escape so there you have it the, there is your answer to when is christ returning we don't know we won't know it will come as suddenly as a pregnant woman's labor pains begin Against. And so what is so important here, though, is that 
that we live every day as if this were that day because it could be it could be this moment it could be it could be today yes it also could be millions of years from now but it could be during the service so let us live every day as if this is the day that we will come face to face with our lord and savior jesus christ i mean wow what a day so if you're putting things off like for tomorrow if there's other procrastinators in the house um other than me you're putting things off um, maybe you're holding on to anger. Uh, there's an addiction, resentment. Maybe there's forgiveness that you know you need to find in your heart. Maybe it's for someone else or maybe it's for yourself. Whatever you are putting off for the future, let us do that today because this seriously could be the day. So let's be prepared for that. So as we continue. But you aren't in the dark about these things, dear brothers and sisters, and you won't be surprised when the day of the Lord comes like a thief, because we're prepared, because every day could be that day. For you are all children of the light and of the day. We don't belong to darkness and night, so be on your guard, not asleep, like the others. Stay alert and be clear-headed. Nighttime is the time when people sleep and drinkers get drunk, but let us who live in the light be clear-headed, protected by the armor of faith and love and wearing as our helmet the confidence of our salvation. So this is really interesting because it brings up, you know, the age-old question to drink or not to drink. So the best way we can answer this the best way we can answer this as well as um as as well as um pardon me <laughs> the best way we can answer this as well as any question that we may have is is to test this so let's test say one scenario first scenario i go out i have a reasonable amount of drink um with my friends or family i i main control maintain control of myself so I don't get, uh, you know, wasted. And I said this earlier, but I still really, I'm not sure. Is that a thing that only old people say? That's what we said um, in my youth. But yes, I don't get wasted. I don't get out of control. And um, the evening is just a good, healthy, joy-filled, laughter, love-filled evening. Too much alcohol did not cloud my judgment, so I didn't end up saying or doing anything that's out of character. I didn't say anything or do anything hurtful or harmful to myself or others. I woke up the next day. It was an awesome day. The birds were chirping, and I was just ready to go, feeling great. And so when we look at that scenario, that's the evening, and we, we test it. Does this line up with what we know, with who we know God to be, and what we know that he wants from us? Well, we know that God wants what is good for us, right? He wants us to be happy. He wants us to be healthy. And so knowing this, when we look at this scenario, it all to, to me, it checks out that, you know, is, is, is reasonable. So now we go on to uh, like a second scenario. I go out, family, friends. I do get out of control. I absolutely do get wasted. And I end up maybe getting in a fight over a game of pool or, or maybe even say, you know, saying something hurtful just because at the time I thought it was so funny. Maybe I stumble, fall, hurt myself, or in worst case scenario, maybe I get in my car and I drive and I kill someone or I kill myself. The sky is just the limit regarding how horrible things can happen, the consequences when we lose control of ourselves. So same thing, test this. I definitely hurt myself and I absolutely hurt others. I wake up the next day, I'm so sick, the day is wasted. I feel so horrible that I take it out on my family. And so obviously this is not something God would want for me. And almost anything has two sides of that coin. Almost anything can be used for good 
or bad, but it's how we use these things that matter. There could be, you know, the same thing, the one drink. For a person with an alcohol addiction, one drink can have serious harm, while that same drink to another person is just a nice, pleasant, healthy, joyful evening. So this is something, just like I couldn't answer, Answer when Christ is going to return. I can't answer this either. This is something for you to test. This is something for you to consider and make your choice. Is this something that God would want for me? And that is my answer to drink or not to drink. So as we continue, for God chose to save us through our Lord Jesus Christ, not to pour his anger on us. Christ died for us that whether we are dead or alive when he returns, we can live with him forever. This is that great news I was talking about from the end of First Thessalonians 4. So encourage each other and build each other up just as you are already doing. Yes, encourage each other. Build each other up, just as you are already doing. He's doing this in this letter in saying that, just as you are already doing, is building them up. And this is something, and yes, I'm not perfect, but this is something that I really strive to consider in all that I say and do. Because we really do have more control over what we say than we realize. And it's just all too common that you know something will come into our brain and out of our mouth it's just like it just happens and there's definitely no proofreading going on in here but just like the alcohol question let us test everything including what we are about to say to one another is this building them up or is this tearing them down let us test our words before they leave our mouths our words that can be used for good or evil, these are extraordinarily powerful. And they can truly change the course of someone's life for good or bad, for right or wrong. Even though that wasn't your intention, they're just words. We don't know the impact that these will have on the people we speak them to. And our words are the tools that we use most often to both hurt someone and to show them our love. So these are just so powerful that we really need to take care when we use them. And let us test our words before we speak them. Are we building someone up? Are we tearing them down? So as we continue, well, actually getting the, the hang of these slides, I think, too. Yes. Dear brothers and sisters, honor those who are your leaders in the Lord's work. They work hard among you and give you spiritual guidance. Show them great respect and wholehearted love because of their work and live peacefully, peacefully with each other. Again, test this. Live peacefully with each other. Are, are, are we living peacefully? Or am I being argumentative? Am I angry and lashing out? Am I trying so hard to prove my point that I end up speaking hurtfully to others? Am I contributing to this peace? Or am I creating stress and drama and turmoil? And this is the big one. Am I being divisive? Am I, in my effort to prove my point where I think this is what is best and this is what is good and I really want to share it with you, but... I lost track of this peace, and I'm getting out of control. And this can cause this horrible division within this one body that we have. And this one body where we are called to love one another and live in peace. And so test this. Think, am I contributing to peace? Or all that other stuff. Brothers and sisters, we urge you to warn those who are lazy, encourage those who are timid, and take tender care of those who are weak. Be patient with everyone. 
same thing. Test this. Am I being tender hearted? Am, am, am I being you know, helpful to someone who needs, who needs help? You know, letting them know if there's something in a, in a loving and good way to help them. Am I being patient with everyone? Not just, you know, people that are easy to be patient with, but am I, am I being patient with someone who's testing my patience? Test these things. Let's see, that didn't work. Try it again. All right. See that no one pays back evil for evil, but always try to do good to each other and to all people. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. See that no one pays back evil for 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 evil yes another one please 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 this is a hard one but 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 test this before you act and before you speak am i saying something hurtful to someone because they said something hurtful to me am i fighting fire with fire this first of all never helps you and 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 that's the whole you know it never helps you it never helps them um it just creates those those horrible things that we're trying uh to avoid pain stress drama anger division so keep in mind please 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 test these words and actions am i fighting fire with fighter or am i being good to everyone and yes so as we continue, do not stifle the Holy Spirit. Do not scoff at prophecies, but test everything that is said. Hold on to what is good. Stay away from every kind of evil. And this apparently is um, the verse that, that, that put me on this trail um, for the, the whole sermon here. In all actuality, we should really be testing everything, and that means everything. Whether it be something someone has said to you, or even what we say to ourselves, our own thoughts that we share with ourselves, test these things. Does this line up with who you know God to be? Does this line up with what you know he would want for you and from you? So if you're having thoughts that all of these, you know, ah, I'm not good enough. I'll always be this. I'll always be that. Does that sound like God speaking to you? Do you, you, you saw it earlier before he didn't come here to, to, to came us to save. Jesus came here to save us, not to lash out in, in anger and be hurtful. This is, these are contrary to who God is. And so if you're hearing these things from others or, or to yourself, test these these aren't true these aren't from him and we just need to get into this habit of testing everything doing as much as possible and sure it won't happen all the time but the more you practice it the more it'll happen and it'll just kind of become this this natural thing and this testing everything is 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 not Everything you say, everything you do, every action you take, does this line up? Is this good for me? Is this good for others? Is this coming from love? Is this coming from a place of love or, or something contrary to that? Is this pleasing to God? When you do this as much as possible, it not only pleases God, but it helps you yourself and those around you that you care about to live that better life that God wants from us. It's really, I'm actually kind of blowing through it today. It's, 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 we're almost to the end here. So let me continue. Now may the God of peace make you holy in every way. Notice the God of peace, not the God of turmoil, drama, stress, anger, fire for fire. The God of peace make you holy in every way and make your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless until our Lord 
Jesus Christ comes again. God will make this happen, for he who calls you is faithful. Faithful. Am I, test that. Am I being faithful? Am I being faithful in my time with God, my, my walk with him, my, my, my prayers, and my being faithful to my family and friends? All these things. Maybe even just once a day, read through 1 Thessalonians 5 and go, hmm, check, 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 test, test, test. Am I doing, how am I doing in these respects, in this respect? So dear brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all the brothers and sisters with a sacred kiss. I command you in the name of the Lord to read this letter to all of the brothers and sisters. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Again, that grace, are we giving ourselves that grace that Jesus has given us? Are we giving that to others, this grace? The church of Thessaloniki, which this letter was written to, as I mentioned earlier, I hope, <laughs> ended up sharing the gospel far and wide simply because the way they lived. Because they lived in this love, which is which was which, which is opposite and and bizarre to most people in that time. So the word spread because of their faithful work, their loving deeds, their enduring hope, even during the extraordinarily difficult times, and that courage that they had in these great difficulties, and like all of that, all of this, all of it is summed up um, simply by saying the gospel can be spread, will be spread because of our overflowing love. I mean, you don't even have to speak it. You don't have to say, hey, have you heard about Jesus? People will see you and know there's something about you. And they're going to want to know why. Why are you so happy? This is ridiculous. You shouldn't be happy in a situation like this. Why are you so courageous? You should be terrified. Why are you still hopeful in such a hopeless situation? Why are you so nice to someone who's being such a jerk? This will in itself, just in living this way, Share the love of God with others. And, and just in living this way, you are changing the hearts and minds, the lives, not just now, but the lives that, that we forever spend with Christ, all by simply living with overflowing love and testing these things, and making sure, hey, am I doing this? Because we get on autopilot. That's what we do. Every once in a while, let's stop. And do a little, a little test, a little check, make sure we're on the right track and we're, and we're doing the right things. Because I seriously, just like we are here so, so long after reading about the Church of Thessaloniki, um, Thessaloniki, and 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 learning by their example, and 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 they are continuing to share Christ with us because of their great example of following Him. I really hope a hundred years from now, a thousand years from now, whatever it may be, that we can do so well at this, that people are like, uh -huh. the VR church people, oh, they were such great examples. They did this and that and this, and they didn't do that. They lived their lives in love. And it was, and it showed and it spread even without intention. And so let us do that. Let us get out there and let us do that. Let us be a great example. Let us share our Lord Jesus Christ in all that we do, testing everything and living our life with that overflowing love. Ah, yes. So thank you. Thank you. Um, Bishop Soto, where are you? Would you like to close this in, in, in prayer? Why don't I see you? Oh, yeah, there you sure. are. Yeah, sure. Sure, I'll close the prayer. Yeah. You're hiding in the back. Yeah, yeah just chilling awesome. in the back. All right. Let's let's um, let's have a word of prayer to close our service thank for you. today. All right. Father, thank you so much for this message that Pastor Lena brought. Um, I just pray that we'll all be encouraged from it, that we'll all um, level up, so to speak, in our spirit. 
uh, like Pastor Lino was saying, not just to live life by default or just an autopilot, that we'll be intentional, um, that life doesn't happen to us, but we take control of life and really start to live in a way um, that influences and has impact. And I pray for everyone in here. Each avatar here represents a real person with a real story. And I hope everyone's story is well and happy, but Maybe if people are discouraged or down, God, I just pray that you strengthen their faith and, and help them to grow in love. And just a, a special prayer of blessing for everyone watching um, on Twitch as well. And in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen, Amen everybody. Thank you. Amen. I think that's the end of the service, right? <laughs> Unless you've got something. No, no, I don't got anything. Let's get a... I like to get a group picture at the end of service. So if you don't mind being in a picture that goes on like social media and stuff, uh, come up to the front, short avatars in the front, taller avatars in the back, et cetera, et cetera. Like this as far as I go, because I'm in the right, hold on, let me switch right it to now. this slide. Yeah, I'm in the Sitting in, in my gaming chair. With, 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 with my I really cat. like that yeah. adorable chipmunk on your head. I would like a walk around with this. All right, I need. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Come on in. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. All right, here we go. In three, two. One and click. Three, two, one and three, two, one and hold up, sorry. Three, two, one and there it is. Got it. Thank you, everybody. I don't remember if I got you in the air or not. Well, Maybe. Well, yeah, it should, right. it should be fine. <laughs> should be fine. <laughs> See you, Twitch. Hi. See you, buddy. Brother, get the flame on. The heavy flame on. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Uh, probably not. I went to the earlier one, so I'll probably not be at the next one. All right, see you, buddy. Adios. I know, I know what you're afraid it has. I know, I know. Let me get a nice little clue. Oh no, I'm falling. No. I'm falling into the abyss. I'm getting some shot, some nice shots for a video. No, not again, not again. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Why? Yeah, I keep falling. I'm trying to get this like. I'm trying to get a nice shot here, but. That's why he's doing the rockiness, the crazy Christian rock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get some like, some, some nice video here. <laughs> Whoa, there's some big avatars going on. <laughs> oh, so much for my cinematic shots now. Everyone's going uh, Iron Giant. So many big <laughs> You're shooting heretics. I smell heresy. I smell heresy. Smell it. I didn't know I had a particular stench to it.
Right, how about this? How about this? Songs that I felt like dancing to. Toto is heresy right now. But the Iron Giants heresy. Alright, I'm gonna change to a spider and go scare somebody. Changing. Spider time. Alright. Who do you think you're gonna scare this time? Let's go scare Miss Butters. Who was all about the hindrance, not the help. Oh, okay. Okay. So, like a burden? Yeah. Basically, yeah. They just, they were very antagonistic and they just lived to, like. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. Make people really PO to put in a PG mm -hmm. way. You know what, you know what helps me actually? I, 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 <laughs> Spider. <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> yes, I keep watching my goal. Good job, Honestly, Here, put your hand out, Tornto. I don't mind spiders, but I don't mind spiders. Put your hand up. Are you on 2D mode? Here you go. Put your hands out, Miss Butters. You can hold it. Yeah, put it on Oscar's head. Hold still, Oscar. Where'd Oscar go? There you go. <laughs> Creepy, right? <laughs> Poor Oscar. Queen Alice. Queen. But then spiders are like, what's up? Why are you? I yeah, put your camera, but no you. Put your hand out. Put your hand out. I'm gonna try it. All right, guys. Oh, you're the spider. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. I can't can't see the spider on your black drop. Oh, it's so hard to spiders. see it. You love spiders? So, Miss so Butters does it. Yeah. Here, somebody get a picture of this. Better, but oh, there we go. Still a bit, still a bit of a pain in the neck, but you know, it's yeah. going. I think maybe I keep I'm going, trying to figure out what is the culprit. Have, uh, is it hardware, uh, software? A's, is it uh, two A's and two B's? The PC? A's is it the cable? Oh, no, is it the headset? And this I can use case. all of them, and they all have know. different problems. Like the oh, link, yeah. I'll have this problem. Know, the I wireless, I'll have that problem. Am I a heretic? Ah, you're lucky I don't have any tracking. Ah, I can't move. the Dean's list? And I was like, what? No, the Dean's list. And I was like, infected her. Seriously? What's up, everybody? Uh, yeah. How's it Very going? Much. How's it going, so uh, Soto? Good, good. How you doing, Elise? What's up, Yoris? Pound it. Oh, pound it. Bam! Gotcha. Uh, I wish my arm... I feel is so questionable about this whole concept is that how can you use the very thing that is a, the antithesis of the Bible, right? Of the churches of this world. How can you use that to spread the word of Christ? And what's and what's and what's the uh, what's the antithesis? Well, essentially, you're using virtual reality, right? And we know what yeah. is happening since the internet rose up. So yes, initially it was a good thing. It served political discourse and a quicker exchange of information. Yeah. But now it has become kind of a cesspool for very dangerous ideas. And also, mm -hmm. I think that the adversary is actually using that against Christianity, especially the truth of, well, I believe in universal salvation. Mm. But since the internet has existed, so many questionable church doctrines have, you know, they came to power that way. Mm. It certainly spread, so how right? How can you use that? Um, I don't know that whether it's in VR... I don't know if that VR and physical are that much different to that to that particular regard. You know what I mean? Like we live in a, a fallen world. It's not like the physical world is any 
is any right, better per se. Maybe there's a better way to say that. I just think uh, yeah, VR, yeah, VR, yeah. VR, yeah. VR provides like an opportunity. <laughs> Obviously, there's like the dark side of this, right? There's no doubt about that. I can, yeah. but then there's like the relationships and conversations oh, that you can have. Over there. Hey, somebody keeps shooting their gun. I'm having a deep theological oh, conversation right here. <laughs> no, no, it's it's cool. We're like opining on philosophy here, and I hear bang, 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 bang. Um, <laughs> hey, you're you're speaking to his point. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. No. No, yeah, I think you have a good point. I, but I don't think that it's, it's different. Like outside of VR, like there's, there's still evil and good. These are tools. Tools can be used for evil. Tools can be used for good. I think it's just depending on how you use it. You know I mean? This is my thought. My thought. What do you think? Uh, it's like you're facilitating kind of the way to virtual reality for like many people. When in fact, we should work uh, towards a dissociation of. Virtual reality and faith. That's at least my opinion. Mm. It's kind of like you're making VR appeasable by introducing faith into this world. Yeah. And then the other side of that, though, is for like like Pastor Alina here, she's homebound. She physically can't get to church. And so for her, like VR is a gateway to community and opportunity. Like, um, so I see what you're saying. What was that again, Elsie? I had really bad social anxiety. I haven't been able to get to church physically, mm -hmm. including with the pandemic too. So this is the way I can get to church and still mm. be able to be in a community. That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, and the other point that you could always point at is uh, if you look at it, if you find a place that has a problem, that has a dark side to it, would you want to separate uh, Christianity, which would be a light in the darkness, from that uh, venue? You know, you have a like, point there. Yeah, like for me, I Twitch no, stream, you know and I'm, anyway. yeah, but like for me, I Twitch stream, and I've been making friends in VR chat and everything, and uh, I actually have people pop in who uh, watch my Twitch stream and or uh, just hang out with me and uh, while I'm streaming and stuff, they pop in here and they l listen to the sermon for a few minutes uh, and then pop out and people keep, uh, and those people, that's the way I uh, look at this as a ministry for me is mm. I Twitch stream and then people see, hey, this guy's fun. And then they see me on on Sunday, then they come in here and then they see uh, Soto or Alina uh, uh, preaching. As, so it's like, this is the way I can minister, basically. Uh, kind of like when I used to direct a drama team for my church uh, back when I lived in California. Um, we would do shows that would make people interested and then people would go to the church. So it's kind of, kind of what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, I think Tippy has a good point. Like, the, there's the dark side, there's the addiction, there's going perhaps too far. So I don't think you're completely wrong. I think you have some valid points, but um, I guess it's a balance, I suppose. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. I wasn't outright criticizing. I just wanted to like get a perspective here. No, no, that's like, this is that's the first fine. time I've seen something like this. Yeah, yeah. Like, in a VR hub, basically. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty I, neat thing. It's a pretty neat tool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of it, of the technology, and I think it's going to do a lot of good things. But right, with anything, there's going to be, a, like, we just have to be aware of the unintended consequences, whether it was the car and now car accidents and the smartphone and smartphone. You know, there's always something we have to, to like, bring the tech back a little bit into balance. So. Always a, yeah, there's always yeah, we're a always in Babylonian exile. You're right. I get that. But, like, the problem is, like, okay, so what kind of denomination are you people? Like, so, uh, I actually believe in what is the tenets. Yeah. I mean, fundamentally, like, at a broad level, um, we're non denominational. So, we're not part of, like, the Presbyterians or the Catholics. Uh, my background is in, uh, with the Assemblies of God. So, I was ordained under a Pentecostal organization, but I'm, VR Church is not connected to the Assembly of God. So, we're non denominational of that part. In our website at vrchurch.org, we have the Apostles' Creed there, a little bit of variation from the original. Um, and so the Apostles' Creed talks about the, the basic tenets of what we believe. And so that's kind of like the, the general scope of who we are. So we're fundamentally Christian. And that for me means like we celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we study his teachings and uh, we believe in be the Son of God. And so all those different elements. Um, you know, are, are really important you to us. Trinity? You believe that the Trinity is, is different? 
facto true as the Catholics stated, or do you believe in a variation? Of uh, it, I believe in the Trinity, but um, I know that people are like super hardcore about it. And so I do believe that, yeah. you know, God is in three persons, like God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. It's something that I, I don't think I can explain, so to speak. You know, the best I got for that is, is like water can be frozen. It could be liquid. It could be gas, right? It's still the same thing yeah. that can take different forms. And so for me, the That's Trinity three in one. But that, is three in the make, one. Wouldn't that make the, the, per, the, the three persons a wrong expression? Because, I mean, Jesus is, is clearly also the eternal father according to isaiah 9 6 so we clearly know that those two persons are one person mm. so they, they are two different type perceptions of one person but yeah. i never get why christians say oh those, those are two divided egos like where is yeah. that said in scripture yeah the trinity is is interesting because it's something i believe in and i can't explain it because it is strange you have three individuals but they're yet they're one and so I feel like it's yeah. it's at a it's yeah, at an it's at a heavenly level to, of understanding because when we say he's God's son, I don't think there was a mother and I don't think there was like a heavenly birth. There was an earthly birth, obviously, but when we say Amen. God's son, you know, I don't. I think so. I think the the scripture is using earthly terminology to help us understand this mysterious like divinity, right? The son of God, yeah, okay. you know. So you have like a respect for the, the the nature of God, and you don't go and say you know the truth. You have a respect for that, for the how the complicated mystery of the Trinity. I, I do think it's a I do think it's a mystery. Yeah, I mean, I, it, I think okay. maybe maybe Christians would get upset and say, well, a pastor should not think it's mysterious. But how can you explain explain that? Like he's got son. Was there a mother? And you know, oh, I, I so. understand your I like your viewpoint yeah. more than oh, most yeah. Christians. Like people like me yeah. would jump I to conclusions. Too. So, mm. so to, yeah, yeah, so yeah. What, what I always tell what I always tell people is, uh, if you are a teacher or anything else like that, the most respectable thing to do is, if someone presents a question that you don't know a clear answer to, you never try to answer it uh, by pulling something out your butt. You will always say. I don't know the answer to that, but I'm going to look it up and I'll get back to you when I know. Mm -hmm. Or, and just plainly say, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to research that. I'm not going to just uh, say, I know it, or blow it off and say, oh, well, never mind. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that doesn't matter. It's it's more of, I'm, I'm going to try to research it and try to understand it as best I can. Mm -hmm. Now, the fact that yeah. I don't understand it now just doesn't mean that I can't understand it later. Yeah. So, okay. That's, that's, a humble, yeah. that's a humble approach, and I like that. Yeah. It's a really cool, yeah. cool way of thinking about it. It's just that I've been searching in Scripture, and I've, I've started to come to the conclusion that, in fact, the Son is actually the Father. There is no difference. Mm -hmm. Only our perception of those two people is different. You know, a bit like the, the moon of the light, the, the light of the moon is actually the sunlight, but we perceive it as, a, you know, a, a no light. Yeah. Different light well, source. This this is the way I always uh, explain the Trinity is uh, if you look like a uh, so you see a husband a wife and children right we we look at it as separate but at the same time when you look at a family you look at that as a one unit so yeah. God is that one unit that's why I always try to uh, tell people uh, yeah no God see is, I'm completely yeah. anti to that because I believe that yeah. that is the big great that's the great delusion. Because the Shema Israel that Jesus himself said as Prince of Peace before crucifixion was that there is only one God, right? That, that the, what was it? The yeah, Lord no, no, our no, God, no. the Lord is yeah. one. Yeah, but, but that's what I'm saying is I'm not saying that they're separate people. I'm saying that a family unit is a one unit. Therefore, God is one unit. And just... Are the uh, the difference in uh, the Trinity of God the uh, God the Father God the Spirit and God uh, the Son? They're one and the same. It's just just. Uh, but do you say yeah, the Father is not the Son? Just digging the no, digging no, the philosophy, philosophy no. talk here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm agreeing to some parts oh, okay, of it. Yeah, I can. Okay, so my reason okay. for coming yeah, to church is yeah, social okay. anxiety, yeah. like what yeah, she was saying here. My, my no, what Elsie was saying. Yeah. Yeah, like Elsie was saying. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's. And you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's beautiful. I love that it provides an opportunity for us to, you know, have that social anxiety to come and 
if, to a safe place. Exactly. Yeah. So I think this is powerful what you're doing with the VR church. Uh, you know, thanks, man. I'll come in from time to time, and I haven't said much before. I'm actually yeah. opening up much slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Take your time. I just but, don't like going to a uh, physical church, but this I'll do. Like, I, I like this, and I think uh, the, this is it's like better than going to traits, you, really you know like nothing it, against because online because churches, but. I, uh, you know, I'm always, always distracted <laughs> yeah. when you're here in VR church and having a headset on, you're fully surrounded by, uh, by the environment. So I yeah, think, um, that's a good point. You know, that's a real point. Really, really you're like immersed yeah, and there's focus. So, and, so I'm focused on yeah. the message, you know. I mean, there's still distractions yeah, every here and now and then, but yeah. Uh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> especially VR chat, yeah. That's awesome, man. No, I love that. I love that story. That's, that's yeah, 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 fashion show. People watching. Uh, sorry, guys, we'll back up. I think we're being too loud around you. Yeah. Oh no, you're good. You're good. No, it's so. fine. This time we can hear. It. It's like hearing multiple conversations. Yeah, yeah. But that's cool. Great. Anyways, I'm gonna be heading out. All right, take care, man. I see you. I'll probably see you tonight. I'll be in the space. Hi, brother. I'll see you, man. All right. How you can behave differently with different. See you, Oscar. Oh, big boss. What's up? You stuck, Big Boss? So, hey, what's up, man? I, I'm just, uh, uh, just was listening to your conversation with that gentleman, and I find it interesting. Yeah, yeah, there's some thought-provoking questions and comments. Yeah, it's good stuff. So, what's good with you? I'm, I'm streaming, by the way, just so you know. I like to let people know so they, so they know that they're not caught off guard later. I'm like, wait a minute, were you streaming? <laughs> Yeah, I get it. I get it. If you try to act like, oh, you know, like you were trying, I get it. I get it. Um, <laughs> I'm just I'm real. No, I'm not here, but, I'm just hanging uh, out. I'm just just, just listening and a long time ago, you know, but, uh, observing people. You know, just yeah, taking it all in. Saying, really, you know? Yeah, that's my style, by the way. I know, like I'm a pastor and I stand up there and talk, but I like to sit back and just observe, chill, take it all in. You know what I mean? I think I, I think uh, I think you can learn a lot from people. From I, I think you can learn a lot of, about people by just listening and observing them. You know what kind of people they are. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I say that because you know I used to I used to hang out and when I used to go to school. I was always by myself all the time. So I. You know, I would sit so, at a table by myself, and I would just watch one people, on one, just observe people, them. look at them, listen to their so, conversations, and, an yeah. you know, I think that, about it in my mind. That's one thing uh, I always say, like, uh, so I, photo, you know, not, uh, I learn a lot from, from, mm. from people, uh, just, just from but, listening, uh, I think. Yeah, yeah, for you know, sure. That might be weird to making, some people, uh, you know, oh, you know, guy sitting in the corner kind of listening and observing everybody, but, I mean, I think it's... Perfect. I, I think it's a, I think it's good to have. But, uh, you know, it's, yeah. Well, it's you're just an observer of the world. You like just like to sponge and analyze and take it all in, and so that's that's perfect. Yeah. I don't think there's anything yeah, wrong with that. I mean, you know. Right. Yeah. But you know, there's there's always someone you know who might have uh, might have some kind of a problem with that. You know, everybody always has the problem with something. You know? No matter what you do, it's, yeah. it's never. Um, it's like, never hey, just perfect, you know, everybody kind of always has an opinion uh, about something, you know, but, yeah. you know. I hear you, I hear you, man. Um, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I think I it's, think I think it's fine, I think especially when you just um, let people know, hey, I'm just an observer, I just like to listen. I guess if you're hiding in the shadows over there, peeking, you know, with the binoculars, that'd be kind of, like, creepy. <laughs> So but, be kind of, yeah, yeah, that'd be kind of creepy. I would admit, I would admit that. You know? yeah, no. But um, you memorize verses. I also think it's like you know, even if there was someone creeping in the corner with a with a pair of binoculars, it might look creepy at first. It might be creepy from their point of perspective, like yeah, what's that weird guy doing? But he might be like doing. Yeah, because he's too shy or he's anti-social or something, you know what I mean. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah I got you. Need some distance, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, um, all right. but, uh, anyway, I don't want to hold you up. I know you want to do your rounds around here. So. No, it's cool, man. No, it was good to, it was good to sit and chat for a bit. Uh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. 
I hope you have a oh, yeah. good holiday, uh, you know, I nice Thanksgiving get, get, uh, and safe and healthy one. Oh, thank you. I hope you do too. Uh, for oh, yeah, see you later. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, see you, big boss. Uh, All right, man. See you later. I'm going to go see if Pastor Lena's here. Pastor Lena, you there? Awesome. I like this one. I like what it says on the back of your shirt, too. Pastor Lena, why do you have the on board eyes look? I think she's AFK. I think she's AFK. <laughs> look at that stare. <laughs> oh, she's got a cross in her eyes. That's pretty wild. That's cool. That's funny. Here's Queen. What's up, Queen? What's up, everybody? Does she look awesome? She looks so cool. I love it. The squirting crown. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is cool. It is cool. Sorry, sorry. I sorry. I, was it really close? My bad. My bad. I was trying to get a good shot. I was trying to get a good shot, but I didn't mean. I didn't mean to get all up in you. Hey. Oh, because you're so cool. You don't bite, do you? Mm. <laughs> Not, hard. <laughs> Not hard, but I do bite. Mm. That's funny. This is a really cool avatar. <laughs> oh, it's time to raid Pastor Japo. I forgot the raid is. I better go do that. Oh. Everybody say bye to Twitch. Adios, bye, Twitch. Bye, 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 bye. See you next week. Uh, adios. Have a safe and blessed week. Thank you, thank you. Cool. <laughs> Pog and Chad. <laughs> you guys crack me up. All right, everybody on Twitch. What's up? All right. Whoa. What's going on here? Let me fix this here. Just see what we got. Camera. Stream camera. Oh, what? I can't grab it anymore? Oops. Something happened. Hold on. Let me. Uh, we got to raid Pastor Japo. Because we do a Sunday raid every Sunday. We love clan raids VR Church and VR Church raids Cornerstone VR. So give me one second to get situated here. Hold on. Oh, I need to. What's up? J Lives on the chat. Nuggy Girl had to go. Pog in the chat. Okay. Let's do it right here in this beautiful setting that Lucifer made. Uh, stream camera. I still can't grab it. Oh, well, we'll just put it right here. M-Star. Yeah, that's a great, great world. Okay. Where am I at? Oh, here I am. Hey, everybody. This is my, this is a Hong Kong apartment. Uh, but thanks for watching on Twitch today. Pastor Lena had a great message. Um, I hope you're doing well, wherever you're at. Um, man, we're just hoping to come out of this pandemic stronger in our faith, stronger in our love, stronger, smarter, better, um, which I know is hard because we're kind of getting crushed, but it feels like on all sides, if it's not one thing, it's another. Uh, but man, we are going to come out of this stronger than ever before. All right. So uh, thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Um, and I'm going to just kind of put my controllers down and we're going to raid Pastor Japo from Cornerstone VR. Now, if you can't stay for the stream, totally understand, but maybe just throw an emoji up, say hello, that type of thing. All right, guys. Uh, thanks so much. We had a great service today. And we're going to stand by to raid Avenger. What's up? Can I do this? Or... There we go. All right. Hold on one second. I got to do this. And then I got to go over here. And next time I'll have it set up. Right now I don't have it set up. There we go. Over here to Twitch. And then I'm going to hit. Let's see. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Pastor J. Poe is live. Let's hit him up. Okay. Forward slash raid. Pastor Jpo, and boom, there we go. We got it. Now at the top right, you see a button that says raid or something to that effect. All right, let's go. See you guys.
real quick, all of you elders, because you're moderators, they couldn't mute you. So mute yourselves before you start singing, please. <laughs> 